name is Diego Montaria. You killed my father. Prepare to die. So while I was browsing on YouTube, I came across a video of Zyger. 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 Of her making a local multiplayer game. Local multiplayer or couch potato games are games that you and your boys play on a single computer with multiple controller. While watching the video, I remembered. I haven't made any local multiplayer games since I've started being a developer. Or can't I? So with me being aggressive with myself, I set to make a simple local multiplayer game so I can say that I made one. Brainstorming an idea, I've always been fascinated by sword fights, how they parry each other's attack and move swiftly. With an idea in mind, I have made a list of things that I'll be doing and opened up a project in Godot. First, I made some player sprites and their basic movements. Then, I need to come up with a way to play it using multiple controllers. What shouts local multiplayer game but a single keyboard with 4 players on it. So setting up the controls for 4 players. Player 1 will use the WASD. Player 2, the arrow keys. Player 3 will use the IJKL. While player 4 will use the numpad 5, 1, 2, and 3. Really sorry for those non-QWERTY keyboard players. I'll try to make a setting for changing the key inputs. Now that I have added the controls for all the players, I added some collision on the front of the characters so they would parry each other's attack and another at the back to stab them. Looking for an awesome background music, I came across Alex Sanders. I'll be putting his HIO page on the description below. Next, I needed some sound effects. Generated some in SFXR. Then I needed some epic sword clashing sound. So I browsed on Open Game Art and found this. Needed a test stage. I made a simple background using Inkscape and slapped it in the game. Created some platforms for the player to stand on. Now putting them all together, it looked a little bit better now. What's more dramatic than a slow motion? Adding it when a player is stabbed at the back? My name is Diego Montaria. You killed my father. Prepare to die. NANI? Now, I just needed a way for the players to join the game. Because I'm too lazy to make a lobby screen. I just made it that when you press the control key for a character, it will spawn a particle in a random place and pushes off any player within that area. After a while, it will spawn the player with a random color to indicate who they are. Now, this game needs more variety, so I added some power-ups. When you pick the power-up orb, it will apply a debuff on all of your enemies. The gravity orb will slow down and prevent others from jumping, the reverse orb, which will reverse the controls of the enemies left and right. The fatigue orb will stun the enemy after a clash. Using the spawn system for my players, now I can spawn the orb too. Next is adding 2 more stage. I made a factory stage where there are moving platforms. Credits to Alucard for the epic background. Then I made a cabin stage where the doors will teleport you to its partner door. Adding some finishing touches to the game UI, like a winner screen, level select screen, the main menu, and the how to play. And now you can play the game on each IO, link in the description below. I had fun making this game and I'm glad that I challenged myself to do it. So guys, don't be afraid to challenge yourself. You never know what you are capable of. Hit like if you like the video and dislike if you don't, consider subscribing to my social media accounts, and until then, have fun making games, and cheers!